the province of infinite skies, the province of the Golden Gate National Park, and the province that's at the heart of it all, the Free State. The Free State lies in the heart of South Africa. Breathtaking scenery of fields abounding with sunflowers, cattle or wheat symbolize the agricultural character of the region. The province has over 2.7 million inhabitants who live in an area of 130,000 square kilometers, roughly one-tenth of the complete surface of South Africa. The Free State is situated on a plateau, the Highveld, and is bordered by the Drakensberg Mountains in the east and the Karoo to the south. The Free State, often referred to as South Africa's breadbasket, but there's a whole lot more on offer in this province than just agriculture. I'm going to explore the Free State together with two friends. From Bloemfontein, we'll visit various places such as the Golden Gate National Park and the Fredefort Dome. We end our trip at Kharib Dam. From Naval Hill, you can enjoy a full panoramic view of the city and pay homage to a great South African hero. Utatu Nelson Mandela once said of the Free State that when I'm here, I feel as if nothing can shut me in. I feel as if my thoughts can roam as far as the horizons. I couldn't have said it better. Viva Nelson Mandela! Viva! One, two, three. Our journey begins in the capital of the Free State, Bloemfontein a university city full of life, culture and nature. It also houses the Legislative Assembly of South Africa. Shaka Zul the front man of an enormous art project. One I can't wait to see for myself, the Olivenhuis Art Museum. Workers started on a huge monument with sculptures of freedom fighters of South Africa, all created by local artists. These are merely the first of 400 statues that will form the long march to freedom. Can you imagine how impressive this project will be? The gardens surrounding the Olivenhuis are a great place to relax or go for a nice walk. We say goodbye to Bloemfontein, but before we head towards the Golden Gate National Park, it's time for a short lift. Cherries can make your life worthwhile. Vicksburg is well known for its cherries. At this stop, I hear there is cherry lemonade, cherry jam, and cherry beer. Vicksburg is known for its annual cherry festival, which takes place in November. At this farm stall, you can buy just about every possible cherry based product. During the harvest season, you can even pick them yourself. Cherry beer. Okay, guys, do you want to taste some cherry liqueur? Yes, yes please. please. Okay, I'm going to pour some for you. Cheers. Cheers. I think I'm going to take a bottle home. I think the bottle's going to take you home. <laughs> what are you on the butt? What's going on? <laughs> 
cherry ice cream and a drive through this exquisite scenery. I can't think of a better way to conclude our first day. A new day in the Free State and we're on our way to the next destination, Clarence. Looks like I can't park here. Clarence has earned the title Jewel of the Free State. The town lies in the foothills of the Maluti Mountains and the natural surrounding beauty attracts many an artist and photographer. These artists need a drink sometimes and Clarence has its own brewery. Here they make their very own Clarence beer. Good morning guys. Hi, Hi I'm Mark. Welcome to Clarence Brewery. Um, would you like to take a tour of the brewery? Yes, Let me show you how everything happens. Yes, Alright, cool. Just follow me. This is basically our brewery. This is where everything happens. It's special because it's literally handcrafted. Everything's done also on site and there's no computers involved. It's also extremely local because it's very little place that you'll actually be able to find Clarence Craft Beers. Alright, you guys like to try some? Yes, yes please. Alright, cool. Let's get you a set of tasters and then we'll sit outside and I'll give you a description of all the beers. Thank Thanks. you. Alright. They really smell good. And the last of our beers is an IPA, Indian Pale Ale. Very hoppy, very fruity beer. Sweet initial taste with a bitter aftertaste. Learning about these gourmet beers and tasting all of them in the process, <laughs> love it. Mm. This is good. Only available in Clarence. Awesome. Do you have both you know, the one that you can slice? Yes. Last one. So don't finish the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Having stocked up on some biltong and several other local snacks, it's off to the Golden Gate National Park. The Golden Gate Highlands National Park is situated in the Eastern Free State, just north of Lesotho. Hi, good day guys, how are you? Hi there. Hi, my name is Victor. Good to you, Victor. Good to meet you. I'll be your guide today. I'll be taking you right up to the River Cop, the highest peak in the park, 2,280 meters above sea level. Let's go for it. Just look at how lush and green it is. The perfect place for a well-deserved lunch break. The majestic ancient Rocky Mountains, rolling hills and stunning 360 degree views are absolutely spectacular. Just build and smile. They've also inspired more than one colorful legend. I thought I'll tell you a fantastic folktale. This story is about the two beautiful mountains in the area. One called Ribokop, and that's where we're going to be in the next half an hour. And the beautiful young lady calls it Tofe in Clarence. Now, what happens with these two is that Matsu, the Ribokop, um, was a, a fantastic and a very strong warrior in the area. And what happened with him is that he wanted to get married to Setofe in Clarence. Now, Setofe is already ready and she's already wearing, wearing her uh, wedding gown and the veil is already on her face. Now, the messenger from Golden Gate goes into Clarence and says, by the way, we've got some bad news. You know, there's a Susutu saying that this is a good thing. 
Now, that means the mountains never meet, but only their shadows at night do meet. Now, Setofe is always crying today, and every now and then she's wearing the veil because she could not get married to Matsu. Guys, I have an incredible surprise for you. Well done with the Reebok trail. We're gonna go quad bike. Yes! Woo! Let's go, guys. Woo! Millions of years ago, the area was a swampy delta ruled by dinosaurs. Look who rules it now. What makes Golden Gate so special? Golden Gate, of course, has got a number of uh, natural attributes that makes it a very special park. And that will include, of course, being the only national park in South Africa that protects the grassland biome. And of course, uh, the geological structure of the park is of world class, very different from any other. Uh, the paleontological uh, significance of Golden Gate Highlands National Park, where the oldest dinosaur eggs were discovered in this park, um, and the second oldest in the world a hundred million years younger than the ones that we found in Golden Gate. Time to find our place to sleep. Good thing we have some power. Let's get it just right. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day. Good morning. Our road trip continues on to the Fredafort Dome, one of the country's eight UNESCO heritage sites. This is a very special place. Here is the point of impact where one of the largest meteorites to ever collide with the Earth landed. It's quite mind-blowing. The crater has a diameter of almost 300 kilometers, making it the largest impact crater in the world. The sheer size and multiple rings are clearly visible from space. The best way to view this impressive crater is from the sky, which leads me to my next activity. An activity that makes me a bit weak in the knees, to be honest. Let's do this. Ladies, it's about to happen. <laughs> good luck, good luck. High five, high five, high five. High five, high ten. You can do this. Let's go, let's go, let's can go. Can I do this? Yes, yeah? Let's go, you can okay. do it, let's go. Woo! <laughs>
you look up adrenaline in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of me going like this. the best thing I've ever done in my life. <sighs> Time for some relaxation. From Friedefort Dome we drive to Paris. As you might have guessed, Paris is named after the French capital. Many artists have settled in the town and its quirky attractions make it a fun getaway. Paris is known for its many art galleries, antique stores and gift shops. There's so much to see, you could stroll around here for days. <laughs> My grandmother used to say, which means handle with care. Not surprisingly, Paris is also a great place to enjoy dinner. This place even provides an entire wardrobe we can raid. It smells heavenly. You know, when I close my eyes, it kind of feels like I'm in France. Right? Magnifique. Time to see one of the Free State's engineering marvels, the Harib Dam. The dam wall is almost 100 meters high, enough to give you vertigo. Wow, what an impressive structure. Yo. It feels like it's coming up at your head. Wow. The dam is an ideal and popular recreational spot for water sports enthusiasts. I'd want to stay on a boat. Great weather to be out on the water. Any troubles, let them sail away on a yacht. We're about to. With a surface area of 360 square kilometers, you can have a fantastic time on Lake Harib. All you need is a boat and some bubbly, of course. See the breeze day. On the water to in the water, the fun never stops. Maybe that's the worst thing you can do. Awesome! We're gonna do it again. We bailed, but it was fun. The Free State, my home province. Even though this is the end of the trip, it's not goodbye. More like, uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Highlights for me, quad biking in the Golden Gate National Park, yachting at the Harib Dam, 
and of course, skydiving over the Freda Ford Dome. See you later. It's that time again where we go our separate ways, but don't go too far, because nothing's more fun than a shot left. For more information about the Free State or other short lefts, please visit shotleft.co.za. Santi hey, Santi hey, oh.